Hi, and welcome to KiteCraft's Thing. In this episode, I have the completed model for the Controlling Hooks Joint 2. Before we take a closer look at this model, let's find out more about where it comes from. Shut up and sit down. Kitecraft Thangs are all built based on the work of YouTube user Thang010146. Nguyen Duck Thang is a retired um, engineer and his YouTube channel is all about building wonderful uh, animations to engineering challenges. Um, there are so many videos on here that if you're any type of a builder or a maker, I suggest perusing these videos and you're going to find something that you like or that you need or that is just really cool. So each episode or each week on KiteCraft's Thang, I'm going to pick one of these designs and rebuild it in Fusion 360 and then 3D print it and turn it into a real working model. So the model we're lo looking at today is based off of this video. All links will be in the description below. In this animation we can see that we're dealing with two axes, the purple and green axes, and there's the ball in the middle. The ball is actually split into basically four quadrants by these two channels and you can see how that yellow block slides inside that channel and then when it moves the other axis here you can see how the ball, whole ball moves around that red. Now the reason for that is that ball provides support for the yellow shaft. If it wasn't for the ball then that yellow shaft would somehow have to be probably um, attached in some manner to the green axis but without attaching it that way we have a fully floating system um, by use of that ball. So this video was then used uh, in a previous stream to create this 3D model in Fusion 360. Now the model we're looking at now has in fact had a few upgrades to it. For example in the original video what we'll see is that these are very sharp points on these yellow and red blocks. My final model, I softened those. This is uh, reducing the, um, the amount of catching uh, that you'll see happen. So this model is available on Thingiverse, um, and it is an improved model of what we're about to see. And here you can see the completed 3D printed model for controlling hooks joint 2 by Thang010146. All links will be in the description of the video. As you can see, we do have two full axes based on the silver little ball in the middle. Now, a couple of interesting things about this. Because this ball is free floating, if you push your axis down too far and you were to push the shaft in, you can see that ball will be displaced and that can actually give you problems. So you have to try and make sure that you're not going to exceed your tolerances for um, if you're going to be pushing on that ball or not. Now this model actually goes together really quite simply. There's only a couple of screws necessary for binding these together, but we can pop it apart just on this frame. There we go. That goes off. This one off. That comes off there. There's our ball, and that comes off. <laughs> so there's all our little bits. The ball that you see here, as complex as it looks, is actually quite easy. It prints in three separate parts. We have two parts on the outside, and you can see how they're just going to print flat. And then we have the middle bit, and you can see how it is just flat. So they print really easily. These little holes are meant for two millimeter brass uh, rods just to be used as aligning pins. So when you go ahead and start gluing this together, you see a glue to glue all this together. You can just put little uh, one and a half millimeter long, two millimeter uh, wide brass rods into these pinholes and that will let you line everything up when you glue it all together. It's the same on these upper and lower shafts. They're made in several different parts. I can go ahead and hide the sphere and we can look at the shaft. The shaft, the upper bit, this upper yellow bit that we see here is actually made in three parts. We have the shaft itself
which is just a tube, and then we have A and B. So these can be printed with this surface down, um, and you don't need any supports or anything like that. They'll just print uh, with this side down. And again, uh, some aligning pins to help you glue it all together. And then once these two pieces are glued together, you can glue the shaft in to this hole. The outer and inner rings are split into two parts. You can see, uh, and then the axle is just captured right inside. There's a screw that you push in here, a three millimeter screw, and then on the other side, you just have the three millimeter nut that fits into the recess. This is how you make sure to get uh, nice and flush edges so there's nothing sticking out is by having, having all of those recessed. Once everything is glued together, assembly is quite easy. You start with your bottom, put that in there. Um, well, actually, let's go this way. So this goes in to your ball, and then we have a nice uh, action on the ball. You can see that's very smooth. It goes around very nicely. And indeed, the top one does as well. Where'd the top one go? There it is. If we put that in there, you can see it slides around very nicely. But it does catch a bit on those angles. So the new updated ones make this uh, tapered and it won't, won't catch on there. They'll pass those much more easily. It won't catch on, the, on like that anymore. So let's put this in here. Um, actually, there. I always find it easier to put that in there first. And then like that. Now let's see here. The inner ones go like that. We take our blue shaft, make sure that goes in there. You can see how nicely that fits in there. Whoops. And boom, that just pops in there just like that. And we have the one access ready to go. Take our next one, put it on top, and voila. So there it is, controlling hooks joint two by Thang and KiteCraft. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and you can join me for the next KiteCraft Thang. I'll choose a whole, a whole new thing to build in Fusion 360 and you can join me as we go along and turn one of Fang's virtual engineering solutions into a real world physical device. So thanks for now and I'll see you next time on KiteCraft Thang. Bye. Shut up and sit down.